watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. Today I'm going to show you a really simple t-shirt design that's perfect for summer. Transform any tank or tee with just a pair of scissors. Ooh. This project is perfect if you have a shirt that you don't wear very often, so that's what I did with mine. I just cut a bunch of fringe and it was really easy. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please remember to like it. Without further ado, let's get into snipping up the shirts. Fake scissors. Go. Begin by trying on your shirt. Now grab a piece of tape to mark where you want the fringe to start. Before I start cutting the fringe, I'm going to remove the bottom hem from the shirt. It's best if you do this one layer at a time, so I'm starting at the front and working my way to the back and all around. Now extend your tape guideline if you want, it might be helpful. The cuts don't have to be perfect, but this helps me at least get them pretty even. Now I like to cut a slit on the left side and the right side of the shirt. I do this to separate the top and bottom layers of fabric. Now just cut. I'm using my scissors to make fringe by cutting straight lines across the entire front layer of fabric. cut to the tape guideline and then repeat this across the entire front of the shirt. Once you have your top layer of fabric completely cut into strips, move them to the side and do the same for the back. I also like to remove the side stitches just to get rid of that. It's a little bit bulky. Now that all of the strips are cut, I'm going to pull at them tightly and they should roll up and just look a little nicer. I'm also going to tie a little knot at the bottom of every single fringe piece. It's a good idea to try the shirt on again once you've cut all the fringe, just to make sure you like how it looks. Remember you can always cut more if you want to, but if you cut too much then you can't fix it. Also, I have this other pair of shorts on now, just so you guys can see what I'm doing better and to add a pop of color to the outfit, of course. This next step is completely optional. You can just leave the shirt like this, just plain old fringe, or you can add some more knots and change up the look. So I'm going to take two pieces of fringe and tie them together. This will make a triangular shape. Repeat that with as many strips as you want. Again, you can leave it like this if you want to, or move on and add more knots. So here I am taking a strip from one knot and a strip from the other and tying those together. I decided to only make these knots on the front and leave the back longer, but you can do whatever you want. And that's it! 
As you can see, this is a really easy way to maybe change up a shirt you don't wear very often or jazz up a plain shirt that you just think is kind of boring. If you end up making your own fringe shirt, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. And you can even add beads to it if you're a little more adventurous. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so because I put out a new crafty DIY every single Friday for Crafty Friday. Last week on Crafty Friday, I made a polymer clay snow cone charm. I asked you guys to send in your photos, so here they are. All of the photos I got from Instagram, my Facebook fan page, and Twitter. Look at that, a ton of great artists. Thank you guys so much for sending your pictures to me and showing everyone your snow cones. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and have fun snipping your shirts. That's a really fun pair of scissors. It's terrible. I'll see you soon. Bye. Check it. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh.